I started playing organized basketball when I was in second grade, and then I just got to where I'm at from there. I couldn't live without basketball, you know. It's something I love, I love to do. It's just a passion of mine. I just can't see myself living without it. But in high school, I ran cross country. And I ran cross country because it was kind of mandatory. Our coach, it was something that he enforced and we had to do, you know, to, to kind of stay conditioned for the basketball season. Because he, he kind of held us to uh, a different, a different uh, level from, every, from everyone else. So, you know, we, had to, we always had to compete at every cross country meet. So, you know, it wasn't no time to go out there and just jive around. Every, every meet, we had to go as hard as we could. I committed uh, maybe three, three, four weeks before school started in the summer. But uh, in the summer, my uh, sophomore year, going to the junior year. Coach Izzo is one of the best coaches that's out there, you know. It's, it's a great plan for him. Yeah, that was crazy. You know, he was kind of ecstatic. He was jumping around. He, he got up. We was, we, was in the, uh, we, was in, we was at the round table. He just got up and shook everyone's hand. You know, he was very excited about it. How you play is how you are. I just want everybody to have the impression that I'm a hard worker and I'm going to go hard at everything I do. I just kind of trying to kind of focus on myself and you know at the same time I want to steer my teammates and my friends in the right direction also but you mainly got to focus focus on yourself and make sure you're doing the right thing first and foremost. Well, I always just kind of looked up to my mom you know because she's kind of a very strong independent lady so I just kind of you know try to model myself as, as she modeled herself you know because she, she doesn't rely on anyone for anything that's kind of how I want to be. Uh, the best part about being a Spartan is that you got so many people behind you, you know, our fan base is so big, it's, it's great playing here, I, I love it. But one thing people don't know about me is uh, that I'm afraid of squirrels. I just, I, it's just something about squirrels, I just, whenever they're around me, I just tense up, it's, it's crazy. When I look in the mirror, I see a very determined and independent young man. Um, sometimes I feel like I almost can't get away from it all, so you know, I just trying to go in my room, close my door, and just go to sleep. That's my escape from everything, just go to sleep. My grandma let me drive her car for the first time. I think I had to be about nine or 10 years old. I got the opportunity, I got behind the wheel. As soon as the car started up, I put my pedal to the metal, and the car just, the wheels spent. It, it was real loud, it was crazy. My grandma was scared, my cousins, my little brother was scared. So as soon as possible, she made me hit the brake. You know, I think ever since I've been here, I built my character and I'm a better person now. I've never been on the train before, so I just want to experience that, see what that's like. Spartan fans are the best people in the world, you know. I, I have younger brothers and younger sisters, you know, so I, I of course, it's, it's great to uh, be a role model in a kid's life, you know, because they, they can go any direction, you know. They can go down the wrong path, down the right path, and hopefully I can lead them down the right path.